Hello there, welcome back to the yoga, the old Git Reacts, Reviews and Off Times, reminis Reminisces, even. Um, today we're doing Kostaneni, I presume how you say it. Virtually every video I do now, I have to sort of um, apologise for probably getting the name wrong. Uh, but anyway, um, this is an artist I flicked in and out of occasionally um, and um, sort of um, been in interested, but um, because I'm on a mission or something, I've, I've not really paid any particular attention to at the time and, and moved on. So on uh, my latest trawl through um, stuff I want I want to try and uh, discover um, I clicked on it ag again uh, and give it a bit more time and uh, sufficiently impressed enough to do this for you today um, so we will do um, it's sort of to be Che Benim, Cheshma Benim um, and uh, you can see why it delighted me upon hearing it so where are we Let's crack on. So, an interesting beginning, uh, and a delightful beginning, to be honest. It reminds me of something of, um, if you're in, a, in the middle of a very, very busy, crowded city, uh, and someone shouts fire or bomb or something that, um, meteorite, anything, balls, um, tiger, anything like that that would cause some panic, um, the ensuing chaos reminds me of the beginning of this um this song really it goes in all directions um but it, perhaps if you were stood at the top of a very tall building looking down on it uh, it wouldn't be quite as chaotic as uh, it seems at ground level um but uh, yes it's t it does take you uh, several directions all at once in the beginning and it's got a, a slightly exotic um construction to it which um when you always want to be sort of um finding new things newer sounding things that um that is a very good thing <laughs>
the uh, the initial chaos has has subsided a wee bit, and we have, we have now have a um, there's clearly a lot of cultural influence going into this. Um, not quite sure where from, um, but it does sound. I think the uh, the title track, or sorry, the, the name of the song is is Turkish. So I'm presuming um, the influences stem from there to some degree. And you can you can certainly um, picture yourself um, in that part of the world. Really, the um, it reminds me a little bit of um, at times when Killing Joke um, bring in um, Just Coleman brings in his um, his cultural influences. Very often. The, the, they're not the same as this, but they are similar in the construction, maybe, uh, and tone, but not quite as heavy as this. But uh, nonetheless, there's a, definitely um, a cultural influence at play that uh, makes it quite different from most of what you will hear. And as I said just now, uh, anything that um, changes the narrative to a degree and gives you a fresh perspective on something uh, has got to be welcome. Um, there's a, there's a tone, it's just come to me actually as well, that there's a tone to the guitar or... Let me listen before I make that comment. <laughs> let me listen to a bit more before I commit myself to being wrong. There's a hook that's being played throughout it, and it, and it's being stretched and uh, manipulated throughout as well. So it's not the same. It's, although it's the same, it's the same hook. Um, it is being sort of um, stretched a little bit out of recognition at times, but it or you, you can still um, recognise it. However, it's being employed. Uh, and the point I was going to make before, which um, I'm now <laughs> not quite as certain in the assertion, but. Um, the, uh, there's a bit of uh, in the guitar that reminds me of a bit of uh, what Bowles do with their guitar sound, uh, not quite the same, but it did it did remind me of of them in uh, in tone, if nothing else. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Yes, it comes uh, constantly morphing and sort of you know it's it's, it's a bit like when you um, pour. Um, different coloured fluids into uh, water that's got a vortex to it. Um, the patterns change, uh, the direction stays the same, I suppose, but the, the patterns change within. Uh, and you, you are being presented um, with a smorgasbord of um, different textures here. And um, I have to say, um, when the drums get going, um, I am cock a hoop, but even the 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 more sort of jazzy, if if you like, percussion um, is still in, still engaging and um, sort of um, wrong foot shoe quite a bit.
there's lots of uh, things, well, not lots of things, but there are certain things being introduced that um, really do um, make a difference to the um, to the listening experience. And um, uh, I'm not sure what that was that came in there, whether it was a, um, a screechy sort of um, pipe instrument or um, guitar, but nonetheless, it again, it was a sounded very much like a cultural sort of uh, device and uh, just sort of if you were starting to um, catch the groove and um, sort of get comfortable with things uh, that sort of give you give you a poke in the eye and uh, said no no you're not going to get comfortable with this music you're going to have to be um, you know you have to be more committed it does remind me a little bit of this music of um, a few years ago there was a I don't watch TV very much, uh, and if I, if 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 I do, it tends to be while somebody else is watching it, and I don't really pay attention. But um, there was a a number of series, copycat series, one after the other, of where they they were driving lorries down the world's death roads. You know where, you know, uh, one false move, one sort of um, turn of the wheel, and and it was certain death. Uh, and it does sort of remind me a little bit of, um, although they over egged the um, the danger, if you took it in, it, in its intended sense, um, you are sort of taken along one of those roads here where, you know, one minute your your wheel's hanging over the, the precipice and um, one false move and you, you are mincemeat down the bottom in a fiery explosion, which never happens with diesel. Anyway, um so um yes it, it is um there, there is a um what should i say what is it there's a precariousness to this uh this music uh and it just which caught my eye now the the artist himself says manic and raving and uh, who am i to disagree with that So there you go. Um, that was a rocky roller coaster ride for sure. And again, full of uh, spitting energy and um, a bit of daring do involved in there as well. The um, it was um, at times as if uh, somebody got hold of one of your ears and another person got hold of the other ear, and they both uh, tugged like fuck on each ear. Um, you were sort of um, pulled from pillar to post. Um, at times at that uh but it was uh, as a result um mesmerizing to a degree it was sort of uh oof, what's next uh but there was enough of a consistency um throughout so there was that hook that uh it got battered and bruised and pulled about a bit but it was there throughout uh which sort of gave you that linear line to hold on to whilst uh, other parts of your body were being pulled this away and that away glorious stuff the um this is from an ep and i know there's an album uh that's subsequently come out uh which i've had a quick flick through uh and i think i need to flick through it a bit more because um it didn't grab me as uh, as quickly as this particular ep did but um that just means i need to perhaps work a little bit harder uh to see if it uh, it does grab me but anyway clicky bollocks catch you all next time cheerio